Welcome to the Black Box Experiment. Creative people with a TV idea have one month of shows in front of a live audience to go from just a concept to actual TV pilot. This is that pilot. Is it ready for takeoff or will it crash and burn? Tonight, one of Adelaide's favourite comedians, Jason Chong, presents his interactive quiz show, This is Read the Room. Welcome to Read the Room. It's a game where audience is the answers. I'm pretty sure that's not proper grammar. Uh, and I'm pretty sure someone in the audience knows that and it's driving them bananas. Uh, my name is Jason Chong and I've just found out that the collective noun for a bunch of people sitting in front of me with opinions and a phone is called The Room. So let's meet The Room. Hi, Room. Hey! Thanks for joining us. If you're at home, you can join the room. Uh, all you need to do is take a photo of this QR code or go to this web address on the screen and you'll be able to have your opinion account as well. Reading the room tonight are two teams we have for you. The first is a husband and wife team, uh, a video game designer and a restaurant manager who met at pilot school. Please welcome Emily Grace and Adam Bailey. Hi. <laughs> Very good. And our second team tonight are two actors slash comedians slash married couple slash is the guitarist from Guns N' Roses. Please put your hands <laughs> together for Lucy Markievicz and Dave Hurst. <laughs> it just meet? Yeah. Okay, good. This is our first date. I think you'll do well. Uh, our two teams are playing for this. It is a power bank from Officeworks. <laughs> It cost me $5 and it says on the back here that it will charge your phone up to 70% of full power. So that is, that's almost $6 worth, if anything. So I'm going to put that there. That's going to become very important later on when these guys are fighting over things. Uh, all right, teams, it's time to meet the room. We already know that they are dog people. They are just a little bit more male than other. Uh, they uh, like to dial up internet. Their favourite food is pasta and they're wearing good undies tonight by a really good majority. Like, these are, these are good people. And now that we have some information on the room, let's use it against them in round one, getting to judge you. There are four questions uh, for the room. We're gonna alternate between our teams. Who will get two questions each? And picking the same answer as the room will get you three points. Emily and Adam, you are up first. Are you ready to read the room? We yep. are, yes. That is the only answer that would move <laughs> the show forward. Okay, your first question is, are the burgers better at Hungry Jack's? Ooh. We've been told that for many times, many years. I feel like these guys are like they're wearing like good underwear. I feel like <laughs> maybe they like the finer things in life, and they they go to like the burger store rather than the fast. <laughs> 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 what is a burger store? You know, like a burger restaurant, like uh, uh, like a like a mum and pop <laughs> burger. Okay. Burger Theory or... Oh, right. Like, like a, a hipster burger place. I think they're hipsters and they go to the hipster <laughs> burger place. Yeah. It's very endearing of yourself. Okay, good. Uh, these guys are voting. Are we all in? I think we're all in already. Okay, so Adam, do you agree with your wife there? or? Yeah, most... I mean, old people, I think, could be more Hungry Jacks. Uh, sorry, more oh, okay. McDonald's because it's been around for longer. Okay. That's but true. And are you saying I these are old people? <laughs> <laughs> well, they remember the dial-up internet. Yes. So, so older. So we still think that the burgers are not better at Hungry Jack's. That's what we're... They, we're I think that they're... The, I think we think that they don't. Think okay. That they yeah. you, All right, so we're looking no. for black no. No. Okay, let's have a reveal and see. This is for three points. Oh, that was Ooh. really close. But you get yes. three points. Well done. Woo. Good job. Yes. I'm going to write that down there. Thanks, guys. Woo. That wasn't so tough. That was pretty good. Yeah. Dave and Lucy, you have a question. Have you ever paid money for a ringtone? That is the question that these guys are being asked and your job is to figure out what they are. So, I don't know if you remember that late night TV used to be full of like, yeah. ah, get this crazy frog ringtone yeah. and stuff. Also, like Apple used to sell them, they used to have like an, in the iTunes store, used to have like a ringtone store. Have you guys personally ever paid uh, for a ringtone? Yes. <laughs> oh, really? I, I have. Um, it was the Imperial Death March uh, from <laughs> Star Wars on my Nokia like, 3310. Yes. Uh, and, I'm, you know, I'm still pretty proud okay. of that. Can I ask yeah. a follow-up question? Uh, who did you assign that to? Oh, was it uh, her? Was it Lucy? No, I got cold-blooded woman. <laughs> <laughs> I knew what I was getting into. Okay. Uh, <laughs> All right. The votes are locked in. So oh, what do you think that the oh, room has um, done? Look, um, yes. they like dogs. Uh, <laughs> and I feel like 
they wouldn't want the ringtone to upset the dog. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I was like, no. Uh, but my wife also has an opinion. Um, so <laughs> let's find out what that is. Sometimes when she's allowed. <laughs> Which is all the safe. time. Playing it safe, Dave. Um, I was going to go yes, because of the amount of laughter that came out when they asked that question. Like Ooh. They were like, oh, oh, yeah. Those R&B mixes in the 90s. Oh, yeah. Early but, 90s, I'm thinking. But they also love pizza. Which makes me think yes as well, darling. <laughs> <laughs> so yes? I yes, think, we're saying yeah. yes. For the sake of family harmony, we're saying yes. Uh, let's have a look and see. That's yes is the blue one. This is for three points. Oh! oh! <laughs> Should have gone lied to Dave. You've been lied by the person you trust the most. <laughs> Should have gone with the dogs, you know? <laughs> I don't know that they're telling the truth. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, throwing down the gauntlets. Uh, all right, this is for Emily and Adam again. Uh, are you allowed to flirt with married people? Ooh. How long have you guys been married? Uh, just <coughs> over a year. Just over a year. Okay, good. So the options here are no and no. Because <laughs> I didn't really know how to write lick your lips. I guess I could have just written like that. Okay, so uh, as they're locking in their answers, what I... do you... I feel like I'm about to start a fight. <laughs> no, Begin. well, because we're meant to be saying what we think the audience is going to yes, say. Yes, this is going to So if we're going back to the idea that it, the audience is probably predominantly older men, I'm going to say <laughs> they think yes. <laughs> that is uh, logic at its finest. I <laughs> cannot fault that logic at all. So I will, we'll say no, no wink. wink. That's what we're looking for. Yeah. All right. Excellent. Everyone's locked in. Let's reveal the answers. <laughs> <laughs> You guys, think about what you just applauded then. <laughs> well done. Okay, I am going to give you another three points. One, two, three. Good. Uh, right, Dave and Lucy, you're up again. What these guys are being asked right now is which friend's character are you, but that's not something that you have to answer. So, Race, Rachel, Ross, Joey, Phoebe, Monica and Chandler. I would have put Gunther and Janet and Marcel in there as well, but we ran out of room. So, uh, you guys just vote uh, which friend's character you think is you, your spirit animal friends character do you have a friends character that you think you are oh i'm ross <laughs> <laughs> 100 that feels uh, like something someone you have to call a, a lifeline number if you think that yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> i'm an uptight paleontologist <laughs> uh, you're dressed like one <laughs> <laughs> that's my look jace <laughs> or is it is it that this is your third marriage Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, there's one up here. Um, what do you think, darling? I want to be a Rachel, but I think I'm a Phoebe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good. Well, we're locked in. The question for you guys is, do you think that there are more Phoebes or Joeys in this room? Oh. Mm. So it doesn't, mean, it doesn't have to be the top answer thing. It just has to be, which, which one do you think that they are? More Phoebes or Joeys? Yes. Which one's going to get the higher percentage? The fun two. Okay. <laughs> if you think so. I'm gonna say, which may change. Uh, <laughs> I feel like Joey's because they love pizza and Joey doesn't share food. So yeah. great. And he likes the dog statue. Bam. Yeah. So if you're not Joey's, do you know yourselves? <laughs> We're saying Joey's. Okay. So for three points which you definitely need right now. Uh, we're looking for more Joeys than Phoebes. Okay, here we go. Oh, there's heaps oh. more Phoebes. Oh, wow, guys. Wow. Come on, guys, you're not Chandlers. Could you be any less Chandler? I wrote that myself. I'm the first person to have done that, so that's, that's impressive. Uh, all right, that is the end of round one. Uh, the scores are, we have Emily and Adam on six points. Dave and Lucy, you are yet to score. Yay. I'm sorry about that. Uh, it's only early days yet. Which one of our married couples will come out on top? Uh, just like actual marriage, the point here is to win at all costs. We'll be back with more Read the Room very soon. We'll see you in a second. <laughs> Welcome back to Read the Room. Battle now are Emily and Adam against Dave and Lucy. Well done, guys. You are doing okay. The score's right now. Six to Emily and Adam. Dave and Lucy, <laughs> trailing by only six points, so that's good. Uh, now that the room's thumbs are up to speed, let's warm up their ears as well. Here are some listening questions in Cheers Big Ears. So there are two questions in the round, uh, one for each of our teams, um, and this time they're worth five points each. So we're going to have a listen before we open the voting. Here is the first question. It's for Dave and Lucy. Dave and Lucy, 
What jingle would you rather be singing all day? This one. That was recorded in the 90s and all those kids are now adults or dead. <laughs> <laughs> That's not on the teleprompter. <laughs> so the aeroplane jelly theme or this one? I haven't heard that with such a great bass line before. That was like... <laughs> yeah. It's like Fun. Junkie XL has remixed that. That's great. <laughs> okay, so that's the question for all of the room here. Uh, which one would you rather have stuck in your head all day? The aeroplane jelly theme or the Cotty's Cordial theme? Uh, you can vote now. Great. Now, uh, you guys. Do you have a preference, first of all, personally, before we figure out what the room thinks? I, I think aeroplane jelly... But only like with the three different voices. Yeah, <laughs> like, that was weird. And qualities as well. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Just to try to sing that all day would be. It hey, goes. Like jelly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it goes on loop. So, yeah. yeah. Okay, so everyone's cocked in. Uh, what do you think the audience thinks? Do you think that they're like you, aeroplane jelly fanatics? Y yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Because yeah. like neither of you sound confident. Like Connie's. Again, your logic is flawless, Dave. Um, you look very spongy like jelly, so that's what I'm going to go with. But jelly is squishy, I don't know. I don't know. You're not winning them over. No, I'm not. Um, Do you think that this is called Squeeze the Room? <laughs> <laughs> that's the late night show. Yeah, right? yeah that's um, After Dark. That's one hosted by hot dogs. We're going to say... <laughs> we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna, we're gonna say jelly together. Okay. Aeroplane jelly. jelly dears, let's have a look and see which one... The audience would rather have stuck in their head. Oh, it's Cody's Cordial! Oh, you weirdos. It's like, it's like they're doing it out of spite now. Yeah. Like, <laughs> they, wait, do? they wait for our answer and then they lock in the other yeah. boat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't have abused them so much at the start of the show. <laughs> Sorry, guys. All right, that was good. I don't have to do anything to your point score because you're not doing very well. <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> All right, Emily and Adam, this one's for you. Which of these two songs is the better banger? We have the ABC theme <laughs> remix by Pendulum, which sounds like this. Wait for it, here it is. I feel like we need glow sticks. <laughs> correct, that's the correct answer, okay. So that is Pendulum's ABC News theme remix, or this banger, which is pretty hard to go past as well. This is Darude Sandstorm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I feel like this show has already been cancelled. <laughs> okay, voting is now open. Uh, what do you think? Pendulum's ABC News theme or Darude Sandstorm? Have, are you aware of either of these? Yes. yes. Okay, cool. Yes. <laughs> you just looked at me like you were like, what is going on? And I'm sorry for my sick dancing if it puts you off. <laughs> I think because they're predominantly older, yeah. uh, I think they all remember the ABC theme from before it was remixed by a Pendulum, which I believe it did exist before that. Mm. Oh, they might be old people and they don't like change. Oh. <laughs> But what you can both agree on is that these are old people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I reckon ABC. You reckon ABC? I, I think we can lock in the ABC. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see if they hate you as much as they hate David <laughs> Lucy. Uh, let's reveal and see. We're looking for Pendulum, which is the blue one. No, it's not! Oh! Darude's stand song is a pretty legit banger. It is a legit um, banger. You should have known that. My That's on you. My favourite thing to do when I see someone walking down the street in headphones just looking really sad, I try to picture them listening to that. <laughs> <laughs> it really brightens your day. <laughs> you see someone like almost about to cry, just... <laughs> <laughs> That's how I cry. <laughs> Hi, how are you guys going? Are you still here? Good, excellent. All right, uh, we're going to do another score check. This won't be hard, no one scored in that round. Six points to Adam and Emily, uh, zero points still to Dave and Lucy. Now, the teams are getting somewhat of a good feel <laughs> for the audience. <laughs> It just in mainly that they don't really like each other. Um, but now the tables are turned as the room gets to judge the readers. Um, these questions are for the room. They're all about our team. So there's going to be two about each of our teams and they're worth a big old 10 points each. So you're really going to want to get these right. Anyone. Um, so here's your first question. This is for Emily and Adam. 
Um, when you guys first met, who came on to who? That's the question that our room is going to judge about you. Who looks the thirstiest out of these two? <laughs> How long have you guys been here? You've been together for quite a while now. Five Ooh, years. Yes. Look at each other. That inspires confidence. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think five-ish, five or six. Five or six years? Five. And you've been married for one? Yes. Okay. Where did you meet? We met at university. Oh, yes. Yeah. At pilot school? At, yeah. That, yeah. <laughs> pilot school. We were both learning to fly. It was a very expensive way to date. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But did you have to like wear the uniforms? Because I couldn't. Yes. I couldn't resist either of you we in the pilot we, uniform. Yeah. yeah, we did meet wearing matching clothes, so that's yeah, good. a uniform. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh wow, it's just you and McDonald's employees. That's how they <laughs> hook up. Security guards. Oh yeah. <laughs> Great. Okay, so the scores locked in. Who do you think they think came onto who? So I just think they're gonna look at us and they're gonna assume it was me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to dispute that. Okay. <laughs> Excellent, let's have a look. Uh, we'll reveal the answers now. We're looking for Adam, which is the yellow one. Oh! Oh! Wow. <laughs> Thoughts? Yeah. Feel yeah. pretty good? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not entirely untrue either, so... <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> All right, this one's for Dave and Lucy. Uh, you are judging these guys, and the question that's going to pop up on your phones is, who does most of the cleaning out of these, this couple? <laughs> I think this is a pretty tough question. I look at you, and I think you both are constantly cleaning at home. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't want to sway the audience while they're voting, but uh, one word, each of you, about cleaning. Necessary. <laughs> okay, that's a good... That doesn't reveal anything. Lewis? Cat hair. Okay. <laughs> Great. I don't know what that means. Okay, the votes are almost locked in. Now, what do you think these guys think is the clean freak? <laughs> They're going to say me. Okay. <laughs> Purely because I, I, I have shaved my face. And, uh, and Lucy hasn't? <laughs> <laughs> well, but I think they're going to like, if he's willing to do this, he's probably willing to pick up a broom. <laughs> I don't think anyone has thought that. It's not good <laughs> logic. It's, it's, yeah. Lucy, do you want to have a go at this one? He looks well kept tonight. Okay. So, yeah. I'm but maybe that's that. you trimming his eyebrows while he sleeps. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> All right, so you guys are going to lock in Dave. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right, we're looking for Dave. Let's reveal the answers. Yes! yes! <laughs> Very good. Hey, guys, guess what? <laughs> I finally get to use this pen on you. <laughs> ten. A big old ten points. That actually puts oh, you in what? the lead. What? Yeah, the points get more because otherwise it would be not very dramatic. Emily and Adam, here is the question about your relationship that these guys are about to answer. The room in Emily's and Adam's house is the toilet seat <laughs> default. Is it up or down? Ooh. Mm. Now, what do you think the toilet seat up and down means about a relationship? I don't know. Yeah. What does it mean? Here's what I think. I think that if the toilet seat's up, it means maybe the guy has the upper hand on a chip, and if it's down, it means he's been nagged into putting it down, like in our house. Or perhaps his mother was a good mother, and, oh, yeah. and the wife never had to do that. Oh yeah, but that's not the case in my. Oh, he just, <laughs> just enjoys sitting down. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, Adam. <laughs> I think you may have overshared that. All right, uh, our votes are locked in. So, what do you think these guys are going to say? Do they think in your house is the toilet seat default up or down? I think they're going to say down. Yeah, but they did think that you were the one who came on to me, so they might think oh, that I hold good. more sway here. I've got a lack of power in our relationship, mm. is that what you're saying? Mm. Well, no, that's what they, they're saying. Okay. Okay. Hypothetically, we don't know yet. <laughs> oh, well, apparently I have a lack of power in the relationship, so okay. we'll go with that. Are so, if say it's up, it means up? that... Yeah, they think that you have a power okay. relationship. Yeah. Wow, right. this has taken a turn for the worse. Let's have, a, let's have a look and see what this whole thing means. We're looking for up for 10 points. Here we go. Oh, 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 Alright. Well done. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> Solid marriage. Okay, what's it like in your house? I do Down. what I'm told. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way to stay married, I yeah, feel. Yeah. Yeah. We, we do like seat and then like lid down as well. Oh yeah, you're not animals. <laughs> the point is that we all use it down, right? But only one of us uses it up. Yes, dear. So it's like a majority. <laughs> that's, the, that's the argument. If I could counterpoint that, if yeah. you don't want to Thank sit you. on my Wii, put it up when you're done. 
Uh, no, what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my wife didn't really think that was a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, let me, let's, a quick score check. We, uh, Emily and Adam are on 16 points. Dave and Lucy, you're on 10 points. But this is the last question, and it's worth 10 points. Correct. So you need this. Oh, Otherwise, this might just go begging in your life. You may never, ever know the joys of almost 70% power. <laughs> <laughs> right, Which is Dave and Lucy. The question you will be judged on is, who is more accident prone? Is it Dave or Lucy? <laughs> Dave, your mouth is wide open. <laughs> One of you is going to trip on that. Uh... Okay, you guys can vote whenever you want. I don't want to sway them. Yeah. But I'm six foot five. Uh, <laughs> and, yeah. Um. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right, we well, votes are nearly in. Yeah. Just quickly, Em and Adam, which one of you two is Mike's from Prime? Oh, definitely yeah. me. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Great. Nice. <laughs> all right. Sweet, people are locked in. Uh, what do you think that they're going to say? Dave? Yeah, I would, I would, I look, I would say me. Yes, and so, uh, would, so would your wife. Because yeah. it's true. Yeah, yeah. Um, you certainly have a lot of this going. On. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, like, okay, one of the things I do a lot is like open a cupboard, <laughs> bend down, and then like hit the bottom of the cupboard oh. on my mm. head. Yeah. Um, mm. Explains a lot. Um, <laughs> I, I imagine. I have to do that too, but for me, it's like the second draw down. <laughs> <laughs> or a step ladder. Yeah, yeah. And I think I'm wearing heels. <laughs> okay, good. Well, uh, we're locking day. We're looking for the blue one. This is for 10 points. And the win. Let's have a reveal. What do we reckon? Oh, <laughs> All right. It's finally paid off, Dave. All those massive head injuries. <laughs> so, final score check. Uh, we have Dave and Lucy on 20 points. Uh, M and Adam on 16. Which means Dave and Lucy win. Well done. <laughs> Well done. No, no, it's okay. Stay there. We're going to say goodbye to uh, Emily and Adam. Uh, and after the break, we're going to be seeing who's going home with the coveted $5 power bank. And we'll be back soon with more Read the Room. Bye! <laughs> Welcome back to Read the Room. Our winning team today are Lucy and Dave. Now it's time to split them up for the big prize because there's no point in sharing a phone charger that can't even properly charge one phone. Uh, and to do that, we're going to give our contestants a moral dilemma. So, Dave, Lucy, are you ready yep. to be morally tied up in knots? I feel like, Dave, that might be your default anyway. It is. Uh... Yeah. Good. Okay. So, for this, you have to pretend that you guys aren't married and that okay. you're dating. Okay. Wait, I'll take, I'll take this off. Yep. There well, that we came go. off very easily. Yeah, all right, I'm ready. Like it was... Actually, I better put that back on because yeah. I lose it. Uh, <laughs> uh, good. Okay. So the question to the room is, this is a hypothetical for you guys, um, Dave and Lucy have to pick what you said. So you were on a blind date. Your date got up to go to the toilet, and while they were gone, your desserts were delivered. All of a sudden, you get caught by a surprise sneeze, and you accidentally sneeze right onto their dessert. No one saw, no one knows it happened. The question is, do you tell your date? Your options are, I choose to be honest. <laughs> I wrote that. Or enjoy your extra salted caramel cheesecake. All right, voting is opening now. All right, here we go. It's very tense. Have you guys been on any blind dates ever? Uh, yeah, up. yes, I have actually. Mm. Um, and, um, when? <laughs> before we before we met. Oh, that's good. That's good. good. She, she's like, hey, let's go see a movie, and I was like, great, okay. Uh, and we went to see the third Lord of the Rings film. Yes. And, oh, no. and five minutes in. She's like, oh, my friend's really sick uh, in the bathroom. And I'm like, oh, will you go check on your friend? And she never came back. Yes. Uh, and I got to sit there for three hours by myself. Um, I reckon you? in the Lord of the Rings film, you wouldn't be the only person there by yourself. I was the only, I was the only person by myself. Okay. Uh, well, there, yeah. It's a great date movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I reckon everyone's uh, locked in now. Um, what do you guys think they, they will say? Do you think that they would tell people if they sneeze in their dessert? Or is this the type of audience to just let it slide? Oh, slide's not the right word to have used there. Sorry. After, after I you, think they enjoy your extra salted caramel cheesecake. Okay. It's the first date. It's a lot to cough up. Oh, don't say cough. That's... <laughs> what are you doing? Okay, Dave, I'm, you are... Yeah. You are, the other one. You think, that you think the best of these people. Yeah, honestly. And Lucy's probably correct. Okay. Right. Here we go. Let's uh, reveal the answer for the $5 power bank. Yay! Yeah. I know you! <laughs> you may not have been able to hear that, but when that came up, the crowd went, yeah, like that. Good job, everyone. 
Uh, Lucy, this is for you. Woo! Yay! Correct. Well done. Lucy is our winner tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, please thank all of our contestants. Uh, we had Emily, Adam, Dave, and of course the winner, Lucy. A massive round of applause for them, ladies and gentlemen. Also, Dave and Lucy, a massive round of applause for the room. They did fantastic. Uh, I'm Jason Chong, and we'll see you soon on Read the Room. Thanks so much. Good night. Bye.